YouTube, what's going on? This is Mailman Fresh, and I'm back at you with another video. And this one is another one about the cost of living in 2024. And, um, and we're looking at how some people are dealing with the high cost of everything, man. This is what this video is about, so check it out. Genuine. I'm a teacher and I can barely afford to pay rent with my salary. My salary bi-weekly is basically my rent minus $500. Guess how much my car is? $400. Guess how much insurance is? $100. Oh yeah, that's right. You do the math. I'm left with owing money at the end of the month. That's not even with groceries. <laughs> Holy sh That's not even with groceries. I realize every single month I am transferring money out of savings into my checking and I am not. Um, just had the realization in the car that I'm actually going to go into debt if I continue being a teacher. Like genuinely. Genuinely. Um, wow. Oh, I'm like literally having a crisis right now. I'm really going to have a panic attack right now. I can't do this. I literally cannot do oh, this. Yeah, panic Knowing every single month that most of my money is literally like, I don't have money. Okay. Okay. Support. I don't know how I'm going to pay off my credit card this month. I don't know. All right. Well, rats, peace and blessings. And I hope you can afford your rent today and groceries and your car and insurance and life. Bye. <laughs> hey, rats. Whoo. That's unfortunate, man. This young lady is a teacher. Uh, more than likely, she's a millennial. Um, it's unfortunate, man. This is the sentiment of many Americans right now. And man, I'm telling you, inflation is real. We gotta cut back on buying all this stuff, man. We gotta get cash cars, man. We gotta do what we can. Like I said in uh, previous videos, if you gotta move back home with parents, you. You gotta do that. Do what you gotta do. But anyway, let's carry on. Class is broke. Okay, so this video was really good for a lot of reasons and you should go watch it, but it also just like perfectly articulates something that a coworker of mine and I have been trying to find the right way to say for months, which is that like we do not understand how we are living paycheck to paycheck. We are both lawyers in our mid 20s. We work at a really big law firm. We make good money by any standard. We make good money. And like we had to recently like ask accounting what actual day we were getting our paycheck for each month because we need to know like when our, our bills come out and everything and because they're just like oh it's bi-weekly fine whatever but we like then we had a bigger conversation we were like it's kind of insane that we are like so worried about money like we make an amount of money that i thought when i was a kid I was like, if I make this amount of money at any point in my life, let alone in my mid twenties, like I never thought I would make this amount of money. And I was like, if I make this much money, I'm going to be rich. Like I will be rich. I will be shopping at Whole Foods every single day. I'm going to be flying first class. Like, like nowhere in my mind did I think that I would be working like this in a job like this, making this much money and like not wanting to buy produce at the grocery store or like worrying about flights home for Christmas. Like this is just and i don't even think that's that naive because like i think that that is kind of the bill we were sold as kids like if you're a lawyer or a doctor or like an engineer or like these jobs like you're supposed to be doing really well you're supposed to be doing well and like like it just feels like well it doesn't feel like things have changed things have changed so much and we just sat there being like, like, we're not broke. Listen, we're not saying we're poor, we're not saying we're broke. I'm not saying like, oh, poor little lawyer, feel bad. Like, that's not my point. Because yeah, we still live perfectly fine lives. Like we have apartments in our, in this big city. And like, we are, you know, we still go for dinner and, and whatever, but like, you shouldn't have to be a lawyer to do those things. Like that, that's insane when you just say it. And we were just sitting there, we're trying to figure out literally just like how people afford to raise a family on our salary, let alone less salary. Because like, we know that we make more than the average person. So like, how are people doing it? One. And then two, like, at what point is it literally just too expensive to live? Like, when do we, cause we keep on talking about it. We keep on talking about inflation. We keep on talking about salaries not meeting it. And we keep on talking about the minimum wage. And we keep on talking about all this stuff. But like, at what point does that bubble burst? Unlike the housing bubble. At what point does that bubble burst? And it literally is just too expensive to be alive even if you're working a full-time job, even in some instances, if you have a university degree or a trade, at what point can you literally not afford to live? The middle class. 
Okay. Her problem, I think, I hear her on some points, but I'm looking at the background and it looked like she, you know, stay in the city, downtown, uptown, somewhere. So I'm thinking like New York. And uh, she say her and her husband are lawyers. So lawyers, they make good money. It depends on like, like if she's new or whatever, how many years she got, what law firm or whatever. But I'm thinking two lawyers, they got to be making minimum 200, 250, 300K. But that's New York City. So I'm looking at the skyline in the back of her apartment. It looked like, you know, it looked like she's in a nice apartment or whatever. So that apartment may cost four or five thousand dollars a month, maybe more. <laughs> you got apartments cost six, seven thousand dollars a month. So she may have a lifestyle problem. I know the cost of living is real, but it's two lawyers and they living in the city. So I'm thinking she got a she got a lifestyle problem, guys. So I'm thinking she just probably they eating out every meal, ordering DoorDash, Uber Eats, getting um taking Ubers to work, Ubers to plays or wherever they going, meeting up with friends. So I don't think their problem they're definitely probably upper middle class, two lawyers. That's 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 middle class. It's not the same as it used to be, but they're making good money. They should be able to live comfortably. Two lawyers, they gotta be making a quarter million minimum. That's what I'm thinking, but anyway, let's carry on. 40 hours a week makes me $2,000 a month. And my rent is 1660. So I work 40 hours a week so I can have a two bedroom apartment. I don't know what to do. I'm not made for this. You know, a lot of people are making fun of this girl, but uh, you know, all of the points I want to make about this video are completely uh, negated by the fact that she can't see the simple fact that she needs to get a roommate. Uh, 1600 plus dollars a month for rent for one person in a two bedroom is absurd. Get a roommate, figure it out. I am so tired of just struggling financially all the time. Like, I hate the discourse that's like, oh no, well, that's your own fault because you bought yourself nuggets on that one night of November of 2021. And that's why you're still in debt. Like, shut up, shut up. I am trying. I have been actively trying to get out of debt for over a year. Like, really trying. Constantly, like, every single month making more than my payments and stuff. But that's hard to do. It's hard to actually take big chunks out of your debt when you're barely making ends meet as it is. And so, I may not have money to put down towards my credit card and then interest just always somehow is like so much and it just adds back to the debt and then I have a bunch of people telling me that I'm 23 so I should be aggressively investing and saving but saving no. what? Best time to invest right saving now. what? And then don't tell me that I'm supposed to be applying to like 50 jobs a day when jobs don't want to pay me more than $15 an hour even though I have extensive experience in what I'm applying for. What am I supposed to do with $15 an hour? I make $17 as a barista right now. You want me to do a full time for $11, $13, $15 an hour? What is that going to pay? And then I have taxes being taken out of every single one of my paychecks. That's like 20%. So I took $200 of every single one of my paychecks. I just, I understand we got to pay taxes. I'm not talking about that, but it's like I work and not all that money comes to me at once. And I'm not complaining about taxes necessarily, although really I am, but I just need people to stop with the, oh, well, you should be saving. Oh, well, you should be investing. Oh, well, you should be eating out less. Like sometimes I don't have time to cook for myself or sometimes I'm so fucking depressed that I can't get up and cook for myself. So I need people to stop. I need people that don't understand to stop giving their two cents on something that is so far from relatable to them. Because, bro, you know what it's like 
to try to pay down your debt, realize that you don't really have the income to do that while still sustaining yourself, as in literally rent, gas, and groceries. That is it. I live a very, very much below my means. <laughs> and still try to do your best. Okay, I can't necessarily pay down my, my debt. I'm not really like making a hole at it with what I can contribute. Okay, so I try to do balance transfers. Even though I have good credit score, even though I have good payment history, even though I have a long credit history, I'm still denied. And so I, I'm just continuously in debt. I'm continuously in debt. And it's not so easy to so stop. I am so tired of... Yeah, we're going to pause. Yeah, guys. Um, yeah, this young lady right here, it's a lot of people who, you know, going through what this young lady going through. What she needs to do is find some roommates. You know what I'm saying? To cut down on some of those costs. Because it don't look like she's living with her parents or anything. So I'm thinking she got like a one bedroom living on her own. And that's tough to do making $17 an hour, man. $17 an hour used to be a lot back, you know, back 10, 20 years, you know, 10 years ago. But $17 now is pretty much, that's pretty much the new minimum wage, man. So... I suggest this young lady right here either move back, move back with her parents, get roommates, cut back on everything, man. That's what she got to do, man. Look for a better job. She says she's a college graduate, so try to find something in your field. Hopefully she, you know, studies something that, you know, pays good money, hopefully. But um, if not, she got she to gotta find a job that pays more. Or just cut back, cut back. Yeah, cut back. Let's carry on. Struggle. The reason this Gen Xer on Twitter says that the reason we're having financial problems is because we're skipping starter homes and jumping straight into homes that cost $300,000. Well, I hate to break it to you because I know you probably bought your four bedroom home for $90,000 in the 90s, but in 2024, a starter home costs northward of $300,000, especially if you yep. want to live in a city with a decent job market. And to be honest, starter homes don't even really exist anymore because real estate companies like Open Door are purchasing them all and then hiking them back up to sell to the average American home buyer. Millennials and Gen Z are facing an unprecedented housing market that makes it very difficult to own anything at all. And many of those who came before us had the privilege of buying a home in a fair and affordable market. So don't turn your nose up at the next generation who isn't responsible for this sham of an economy. This Gen X are on top. I've given up because of the cost of living. I've seen a few videos on TikTok now talking about things people have given up because of the rising cost of living. And I just kind of wanted to speak to that a little bit. You know, there's there's a ton of things I could list when it comes to the list of things I've given up because of the rising cost of living. But honestly, the thing that matters to me the most, it's not even any of the material things like eating out or being able to get someone else to cut my hair or being able to get new glasses because I have a big old scratch across one of the lenses that I can't afford to get replaced. The biggest thing for me is just the the constant feeling and pressure of stressing about finances and how to make ends meet. So that's why I started this account to try and find ways to make extra money and share it with you. I work at a restaurant that's not making any money anymore. And my owner, the owner of the restaurant told me that today that he is not profiting any money from the business that I work at. And I don't know what that means for the company. I don't know what that means for me. Um, but the job that I'm working at is no longer making any money. So I know that eventually I'm not gonna be able to work there anymore. That's one thing. Secondly, where I live, I live in an Airbnb in Miami, right? So I pay regular market rent, but um, it's technically an Airbnb. So the owner of the Airbnb is not making any money either. So eventually they're going to give up this Airbnb and I can't afford anything else in Miami. So I'm double screwed and it's like my life is not stable, but I'm stable. I'm stably working, getting up, going to work every single day, not calling out, not none of that paying my rent on time, paying my bills on time, and everything around me, like inflation is hitting everything around me to the point where it's fucking with me too. Like, 
how real, in the man. fuck is people how are people living what are y'all doing like like I I don't know what the fuck to do like a business your job going out of business though that's scary These are middle class broke behaviors they're gonna make it feel like no matter how hard you work you're not getting ahead number one you always have car payments for cars that you can't afford two you have lifestyle inflation and you're probably living in a house that you can't afford three they have a keeping up with the Joneses mindset and they buy a bunch of crap that they can't afford four they go to college with no clear direction and they pay for a tuition that they probably can't afford not sure if you're noticing a trend here basically they buy things that they can't afford so instead pay cash for a car that runs instead of something that makes you feel rich live in something that you can afford look up the 25 percent housing rule make a budget and stick to it and lastly consider community college state college or even online courses instead of paying for a tuition that you can't afford at the age of 18 ever been like saying if my checkings account balance goes below four thousand then there's something up i'm i'm starting to panic if you saw the comments it shows you a lot of people are struggling not only that we're all just trying to figure it out if you're 18 25 30 35 we're all just trying to figure this shit out now everybody pay attention any woman that says to me oh i'm not down to go 50 50 for about two to three years so we can all just stack up you're an enemy of progress <laughs> <laughs> no like listen listen the fact that this economy is the worst it's ever been like we are in the worst times economically and you say nah you gotta go 100 and zero literally go to fucking hell do you know how much it costs to get a single family house in the u.s around 300 to 500 thousand dollars and you're telling me you're not willing to go 50 50 so we can get an asset okay what i want you to do is go to your nearest walmart buy clorox bleach and drink it <laughs> <laughs> of living swear to goodness i i don't understand what's going on what is up with the cost of living swear to goodness i i don't understand what's going on my husband's parents at like 22 they had a bachelor's degree they had their great jobs had their house their car they didn't have like any debt from school oh my god and that's another thing that's another thing someone tell me why it is so expensive to become a healthcare worker a healthcare worker this is an essential job. Like, I'm not saying that there's not other essential jobs because there's plenty of them. But a healthcare worker, like, <laughs> sorry, thank you for my sacrifice in all ways. <laughs> what? Do you agree? $100 is like the new $20. Does that make any yeah. sense? And so all I wanted to say is that if you feel like you're in the no. same situation, I obviously have to let you know you're absolutely not alone. I truly hope it gets better. You go if you didn't go to college and you have no debt and you're thriving. I think that's awesome. And you should share more about how you did that because we're about to pay almost five thousand dollars in student debt loans for next year. Just crazy. Just crazy. What is up with the cost of living? Swear to goodness, I hundred k. I saw this video. Hundred k in 2024. Living in New York City is. I look crazy, but I feel like I just needed to give my two cents on this because it has irked me since this morning when I saw this video. I am 23. I just graduated. I barely have more than a minimum wage. I, I work minimum wage. I make yearly probably less than 25000 a year. And like, I, I don't live in the greatest place. I live still in Manhattan. But I, I pay my bills, I buy groceries, and I still go out. Is it paycheck to paycheck? Yeah, literally. But these comments of people being like, I make 100000 I make 200000 a year, and I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'm sorry, but that's a you problem. Because what the fuck are you doing that with $200,000 that you're living paycheck to paycheck? Because I'm living not the most comfortably by any means. I have to be very careful. I don't get a lot of help from my parents at all. I'm very self-sufficient. And I <laughs> I don't even make like 1500 a month. And you people are like, oh, 100K, I just, I just can't do it. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? What, what genuine, genuine question, what are you doing?
that $150,000 cannot support you. Like, it's just, are, are you all making $100,000? Is everyone making $100,000? I work part-time for 17 an hour. <laughs> and I'm fucking fine. So, you're all fucking losers. Yeah, guys, so there you have it. Um, as you can see, the cost of living is not slowing down for anybody. We had lawyers, we had nurses, we had a barista, we had pretty much every, you know, almost every angle, you feel me? In this video, the lawyer, they had to be making minimum quarter million a year. And they are struggling. With them, two lawyers, I don't know how, she didn't say how much they made. With that lawyer, I believe they had lifestyle inflation. And um, it's, it's hard to bring that down, man. Once you raise your lifestyle way up here through the roof, it's hard to bring it back down. But for that lawyer, you know, who said her and her husband are lawyers, they need to cut back, get up out of the middle of the city because I seen the skyline in the back of her, um, in her background. So she's staying probably downtown somewhere. So she paying a top dollar wherever she's living. I'm thinking New York, but yeah, man, um, it's real. It's real girl who worked part time and she was wondering why the people making over six figures is struggling. She said she's paycheck to paycheck, but she's making it. But she did say she get a little bit of help from her parents, but she didn't specify how much help from her parents exactly. What's a little bit? We got to define that. So you know, she can't really crash down on people making six figures because six figures ain't six figures. And when people say six figures, like I said, they mean a hundred thousand because six figures is a hundred thousand to nine hundred and ninety nine thousand. But most people are talking about low six figures. But anyway, that's the video. This is Mailman Fresh. And like I said, I'm, you know, I'm back. I'm back with you, you know. So like, comment, and subscribe. You know, leave your comments down there, and I'm going to get back with you later. Yeah.